what's up guys how's it going um i am just doing this video because a lot of people ask me how what did i use what what can i use to do it so i'm just gonna just quickly do this video hopefully it's short enough i might do some fast forward movements on it but this is the whole point so i have a major blood that i decided to just customize by painting the armor the hand armor as well as the cobra symbol and his bionic or cybernetic arm um it also fed through the back so i did that as well and the helmet so you can kind of tell that everything you used to be just all black just like this everything was just completely black so i'm going to just touch it up um and i did add some red accents into it not sure if you can see that but we're going to just kind of do this over here as well but you know just so you guys can see what i did it's because I'm going to do it on this one for our friend Rashad, um, who has helped me out in the past, and I was able to hunt this down for him, and we're going to try it. Hopefully, it'll turn out just like this, or maybe even better. So, let's get on with it. All right, guys. A uh, little disclaimer. In no way am I of any kind of customizer. Um, this was just complete amateur hour for me in doing this paint job that I did on my own major blood. Uh, no way am I, I'm probably using um, some materials correctly, but you know, I, I'm i not one to spend a lot of money on high-end stuff, unless like I'm a real professional or whatnot. So we're gonna just give it a shot and just try and mimic what I already did. And you will see the materials that I used for this one right here. So here is, major blood good lord okay so you can see the differences between the all black and then the silver metallic paint that i use with some red accents and whatnot even the eye i even did the eye so we're going to kind of show you what i did let's just place him here as my example and we're going to we're gonna do stuff with this. Of course, we're gonna paint the helmet, um, but we're gonna paint the missiles too because on the box, the first of all, the eye is red. Um, he's got that red accent on the arm. Um, also, red accents here, uh, and then the missiles here are also red. So we're gonna paint that red as well. Uh, I am going to use simple, cheap acrylic paint. Uh, to paint them so we will see and even on the intricate lines of the hand that's also going to be very difficult sometimes you need something real real thin in which case like I use this uh, wood wood carving tool to kind of get that thin lines onto the hands here if not that I'll probably use the back end of the exacto knife to kind of layer the, the red on there but you will see so i am going to use this red gloss right here uh for all the red uh accents and then i'm going to use this silver acrylic paint for the armor so let's get on with that but i believe so here's the missiles i'll just put these off to the side the gun too because i'm gonna accent the the what's it called the rounds all the silver rounds here in the red too uh, now I know this well let's take that off since we won't need that uh, this piece comes off very simple um, but it does hinder his arm movement if you never had the major blood before because his arm only goes a certain certain amount with it on um, but the bicep joint just comes right off so this, this bicep here comes right off. It's very, very easy to just pop right off. There we go. It's a nice butterfly joint too. So that has been popped off. We can work a little bit more easily with this not attached. So we're gonna try to just paint all around here, including this part here we don't we're not going to really mess with the fingers um but we will try to mess with his um 
the back end of it. So let's get that going. Um, you would think that I would take this apart so I can just work on the vest. No, I'm going to do it right on there because that's what I did. I didn't even take that apart. I just did it right while the figure was on it. So let's get working. So I am going to use this paint, the silver paint first. Uh, you only need a little bit because all you're really doing is dry brushing. Um, so make sure you have some, some paper or napkins to kind of blot out and thin out your paintbrush. Now the paintbrush I'm also going to use is, I, I don't even know what this paintbrush is called. I just know this is what I use to dry brush on like my, on my dioramas and things like that. Cause you know, I have some things working and going on, for example. Uh, but when you dry brush, kind of use a fan brush that's going to help with that. Uh, so I will just use this. Let's try the helmet first because we want to show you the differences of the helmets here, as you can see. And let's, let's try it. So test it out. So I'm going to just dab some of the paint on there and pretty much just kind of blot it so that way it's just a little bit and then you're just gonna kind of fan and kind of get those highlights of the dry brush into the paint uh, not into uh, onto the the helmet as well as all the other pieces because you you don't want to just full on do a silver color right on it and then you just if you do that it's not going to look i guess worn <laughs> um because you want some of that black to to pop from the original you know i should be using some sort of holder for this but i don't have one like i said amateur complete amateur for myself uh but oh But we just want to just touch it up, dry brush, make it look good. So close, close. I should turn on a light to maybe get better. Yeah. So we'll leave that here for now and we'll test that out. So that was fast. See that? Uh, let's kind of work with this one. So I'll kind of hold that just like that and we'll get a little bit more paint. And once again, kind of just brush on. I don't mind that I get paint on my fingers. I can just easily wash it, but yeah. And trust me, you want to make sure this is blotted out enough because once you put too much, it's not going to look good. Um, there we go. See, that's, that is all I'm doing. Simple enough. All right, let's put this off to the side and let's mess with his arm. get his hand here and just a little bit because I just want to get the the plate the back end of the plate so know what kind of brushes you're using 
If I had a smaller fan brush, I'd probably use that. But I don't, so I'm just working on what I got. And in a lot of cases, that's the best thing you can do. So. There's, there's a difference right there. So we'll let that dry. Now we can work on the armor. Let's all right so let's work with this uh, we will also paint this shoulder right here All right, we're gonna use a red gloss. Um, it's funny, because on mine, I didn't have a red gloss. I actually just used this red here. Um, so we're gonna try this for the first time for a red gloss and see how that turns out on the missiles. So here's the two missiles. We're just gonna do the tips of them. And hopefully they actually turn out really nice. Now, in regards to a paintbrush, I'll probably use this really thin, flat one. And I found one of these, a nice fine tip one. So we'll, we'll try that out as well. Uh, but for this, I can basically just apply it simply enough. So hopefully this turns out nice. Now I'm not using a lot of paint. There's barely any paint on there but I want to take a look and see. See, that's not the best color anyway. Because it's on this plastic, it's not going to look right. It doesn't even look like a nice red, which could be, hmm, I don't know. We'll see how it turns out. All right, I'm switching out the reds. It doesn't look good, so I'm going to use the, the red that I used over there. It's not as glossy, but we're going to just, well, put a lot of red on there. Uh, so I'll try to just clean it up a bit. Now, let's use this brush on, we'll do a little bit of the gun because I can probably poke like real tiny strands um, right inside. We, so we will try that. And if this doesn't work, I will resort into using this and you will see how <laughs> I actually do that. Just a little bit of red, a little bit, in which case. Steady, steady hands. Okay, so if you can see it, there's just a little bit of red right in those cartridges right there. So this worked nice. That's not too bad. So let's try 
it on the belt and on the hand. This, since I did this one first, I'll paint the uh, these uh, red spots that belong here. Uh. This looks good too. Let's open this up. Now this here is going to be painted red. try uh, now the Cobra so this is gonna be a little this is tiny this is extremely small so I did do it on my figure um, so it wasn't it wasn't bad but it was still it was still a challenge so we're gonna try this one Now the Cobra lines in there, that's gonna be a little bit crazy. So I'm gonna use a different method that I used on my figure, which I used my X-Acto knife. And yeah, that does sound weird, but at least it'll give me more of a straighter edge. So this is what I mean. I'm gonna take the back end of the X-Acto knife and just kind of dip the dip it in there for that paint and try not to have like a glob of that paint in there and what i'm gonna do is basically use it like a like a fountain pen and kind of just draw a line And of course, if I don't have any paint on there, it's not going to work properly. That's not good. You got a whole glob right there. That's what happens. So I got to clean that up. So not too bad. Better but not too bad. It's hard, it's, it's extremely difficult. You, you have to just kind of play. If there's other techniques out there that I'm sure professional painters could do it, uh, they probably can. But I, again, amateur, still just working with what I got. Um, also, his eye. So we need to get into that eye, which the best way to do it, I don't think this paintbrush will fit in there. Uh, it actually might. So we'll try that. We'll try that, but don't use a lot of paint because if you get a glob, it's going to be very, it's going to be such a pain to get that out. Uh, so steady hands again. I got a lot of, I got a little bit on the out, but I can just clean, clearly wipe that off. And the inside Should be good. So now I got some got some red right in there, so that looks much better. All right, now let's get these. Let's get some red in here. So let's see. Right inside, we're just gonna dot some of these vents here. Let's 
So we got some red accents in there. I don't know if it can really be brought out with the light, but it's there. Now I'm gonna do some of the cartridges here. If I can use this brush for it, then I will definitely do that, but we'll test it out and see. Mm, too thick. This is too thick. So we will use this again. All right, guys, so everything is pretty much done. We got the red implemented right on there just to mimic what is on the gun as well. God, I hope you can see any of that. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to show you what I've been doing. Uh, just the little, little red highlights inside there just to kind of make that pop a little bit. We have his shoulder done. We have the back of the armor done. Front of the armor, of course. And then here we have his arm, all with that silver dry brush, pretty much, along with the red in there. And we have his left hand. It's not bad. It's pretty good. Uh, still, ha the glove is brown, but we did dry brush that silver plate on the back of his hand. And here is the shoulder pad, if you want to call it that way. Highlighted the red there, and of course it's all the silver as well. So that we'll put down in there. His helmet. Got that nice dry brush and silver there. And his eye. We got the red right there. So yeah, there you go. Uh, let's put them back together and make sure, you know, everything works out well. <laughs> Pop. There we go. Still works. See that? And these two pegs will pop right in those holes. Oops. Let's bring his shoulder down a bit. Because that this part gets in the way of his actual... There we go. There we go. Oh, let me move his arm. There we go. Now it's got that movement. So remember, like I said, it only goes so far because then it will just pops. That will just pop right off. But that's done. Uh, we'll put his hand back. And we'll just holster his gun just to show. And pop his head back on. Click. There we go. Nice. With his helmet. So there you go. So he should just look just like the one I made. Yeah. So not bad. Oh, and I did do, oh, I did do these. So this is just a flat red for the missiles. So that should look pretty well. Uh, I didn't even pop it up. So let's see. Here. So now he's gonna mimic the box cover art. Go. That looks good. Not too bad for what we were trying to aim for. Very nice. All right, so 
there you have it guys we have major blood looking in my opinion looks better i mean a lot of people do like the black and by all means you like what you like i just decided to make mine a little bit more accurate in regards to the box cover art so i just i just felt like you know what i'm gonna try it i'm gonna see how it's gonna look i took a risk i took a chance because god forbid i had no idea if i would find another major blood so it still worked out still looks good there you go there you have it guys appreciate you watching hope this was informative uh hope you liked it if you have any questions just leave it in the comments below but if you did like the video just make sure you hit the like button subscribe if you're new check out my hunt videos always 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 appreciate you guys taking the time out to watch my videos but thank you so much for watching hope to hear from you soon hope to see you on the next hunt